Hey, it's me, HFL SMG. Um, <laughs> I just discovered something kind of cool uh, that'll be useful for some SIGs or whatever you want to use it for. Um, you just go down from filters, go to render, and just go down to lava, and then just kind of mess around and experiment with these settings. Uh, I'm going to leave them on the default for now, actually, because I moved a lot up. Uh, I forgot what the default... Oh, but just hit reset. Okay, yeah, I'm going to leave it on the default and just see what that does. It takes a little bit. Uh, it has to do a bunch of steps to create this. So it gives me a chance to say, Hey, how are you guys doing? Why are you watching my video? You enjoying it? Um, Yeah, well, actually it's going a little faster now, but before I had some of the settings changed, and it took a little while. So you get that kind of effect, and um, if you change some of the settings around, then you can get some different stuff. Uh, I don't really know how that looks like lava, but it does look pretty cool, so why why don't we uh, <laughs> mess around a little bit more? So I'm going to delete that layer, go back to filters, render lava. Okay, before I had it little, both of these a little bit higher, I'm going to put this up to 20. Let's actually put the size up to like uh, 75, sounds good. And then roughness, I'll put that up again to like 43, okay. Um, if I hit OK, this might take a while because I changed the settings and it just goes slower. And this oil painting step, I don't really know what it does, but it takes a while for some reason. But yeah, once again, I can say, hey, how you guys doing? You enjoying yourself? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stop that now. So... Over here, it looks... Yeah, and it's changing over here, so you can see it kind of happens. So, that kind of effect just happens, and when you mess around a little bit, it'll change the... Like, right in there, you can see the opacity is turned way down. Um, so, just play around with it, and it, it does look really... Uh, excuse me. Really, really cool. I'm glad I found this. I was just messing around looking through the filters tab because that's kind of that's where you should look for cool effects like this cuz uh, uh, just in the toolbox there's not a whole lot. So I just go over to renders and search around plasma. I wonder what that does. Uh for a different video. For a different video which fell SMG. Everyone always tells me that I just mashed the keyboard to find my name, but I disagree. I did not. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to put this down there, see what happens. So I didn't mash the keyboard for my name. Um, when I came up with it, I was younger and didn't realize that cool names are cool. So, yeah, my name on uh, PlayStation Network is a little bit cooler, but it's uh, Stevie the Kid. So, yeah, I made up for it. Anyway, we're in GIMP right now, so... Oh my god, that looks awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to add any text or anything to this, but I'm just going to kind of bask in its awesomeness right now, because no matter what, when you change the settings, it just ends up completely different. It's, it's kind of cool, and if you just keep messing around with it, eventually you get something kind of cool like this. This is just so like awesome and stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, uh, that's about it. That's how you can kind of create some cool designs. And I'll see you guys later.